This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me as always, halfway across the world, Jared Morgan. Hello, everybody. We, we are doing a uh, Friday edition, uh, Saturday morning for Jared, but uh, as opposed to our usual Saturday slash Sunday edition for those of you across the timelines. Uh, <laughs> it's so it's like a Saturday morning cartoons edition in here in Australia. Um, you know, <laughs> it's, it, it's, you realize how much in the future you are when it's basically mid afternoon for me. And then it's just morning for you morning. Yeah. 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 Very much in the future. Um, it, it's so far so good. I'm looking out there. I'd, I'd recommend it, but, um, yeah, I, I think it's okay for now. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. the future hasn't collapsed yet. Got it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm like the canary in the mine for everyone else. He's listening to the Black Hay Pinball Podcast. So we uh, we had a little uh, gap, extra gap week. I didn't, uh, it was one of those things mm. where it was like, uh, Jared Jared texted me and goes, hey, are we recording this? And this was last week. And, yeah. and I kind of went, wait, didn't we Didn't we just do one? He's like, no. I'm like, uh, okay. Last one was February 4th. <laughs> yeah, it was something like that. It was, it was a while ago. Yeah, time gets a little slippery now and then, but uh, what are you going to do? Eh, you know, time is time. That's right. That's right. Um, so what we are going to uh, try and attempt to do here is uh, spin gold out of very, very, very copper. Th- copper. Yeah, not much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spin gold out of some dirt. Because there's not yeah. a whole lot going on. Um, there it's is... Like, I don't know what it is about this time of year, Chris, but it's like... It's almost like... Um, there's a period where I think it's in other industries where they like shut down and they just don't really do anything. But it feels like well, this you have now. all your big announcements that come out uh, at you know end of January basically because of CES in terms of electronic stuff. Yeah. Then, then there's that whole okay, we announced it, we just don't have anything to release. Yeah, um, and I think that's definitely what we're in at the moment. And then we've got the the issue with well, there's no new pinball from Zen. And we haven't had new pinball since December. So mm. that's an unusually large gap um, from what we were used to uh, yeah. this past year. And again, that comes down to, again, CES and Christmas and all that sort of stuff as well. So it's fair enough to expect that. Um, I have noticed that Zen hasn't been totally quiet, though, because they're actually at a um, another game show at the moment or gaming convention uh, demoing um, uh, Operencia. Oh, right, uh, on other indie- platforms. Yeah, it's it's indie it's an indie gaming um, event, so yeah, Desiree's over there doing 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 the thing, which is kind of cool in Anaheim. So Anaheim, oh, that'd be yeah. nice. Which is which is yeah. right. I mean, that's where Disneyland is. She's probably at the convention center across the street. So oh right, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, well, I hope it goes well. Yeah, but so uh, you know, we haven't heard anything from them, and and it's that whole mystery of well, what is coming next? Because yeah, we've we... got those last three DMDs. Are they? And, and are they going those to be were all, well, those were all yeah. questionable, you know, in terms of what we said. Where yeah. it's look, Cactus Canyon, ridiculously hard to find in Europe. Uh, yeah, Jackbot, Anywhere, really. Jackbot, lots of gambling, and that was yeah, previously an issue. And then who done it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which was fine, but no one really wants it, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. You you don't hear a lot of clamoring for God. I just wish they would release Who Done It. And, yeah, it doesn't. No, not right. so much. No. Um, so, so yeah, we're we're waiting on anything from from Zen in that regards, um, and beyond that, you've got Zachariah, which we haven't heard anything new from them <laughs> recently. No. Um, and we, we, this is not without trying either. We've been trying to prod them a bit, um, but they're. Um, I wonder if it's like a holiday over there in Budapest. Yeah, Budapest. Oh, there? Yeah, Budapest. Uh, I don't, I don't yeah. know because yeah, both Jared and I have uh, have used different out methods to prod our methods friend of the show, Mart. Martin. And uh, yeah, but he's uh, yeah, he's not responding. That's okay. We can wait. We can wait. I will but say it means that we don't really have anything to tell you. So <laughs> not news wise. Not news wise. Yeah, so that's why we're saying you get to watch us. Sp- Spin gold out of copper, as Jared just said. That's right. Spin gold <laughs> out of copper. That's that's that should be the the name of these thing, these shows, these episodes that we do. It's spinning gold. 
Had twiddling thumbs. Um, yeah, it's I did try out Zachariah in cabinet mode. Oh, yeah? Um, just because I've got that monitor that rotates now, and so it was like, oh, yeah, hey, I forgot. I, I, could, I could do that. Yeah. I could do that. Let's try it. And uh, interestingly enough, so their backlash, you can activate, turn on and off the backlash. Oh. It automatically pops up on the other monitor. Scores will display on that monitor. But make- mercy does it just make the video card chug. <laughs> oh, does it? Because it's fully animated. It was, my, my card was just whining, just <laughs> going high speed. And <laughs> the hyperdrive then, was activated well and truly. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't help that, you know, this monitor, the, the bigger monitor that rotates is a, was it 2440 by 1400 or whatever it is. Um, it's not. So it's a grunty resolution to start with. And then you're well, like. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not 1920 by. 1080. 1080, and it's not 4K. It's kind of in between. Um, it's, it's 3K. <laughs> 3K, but it does. But it does. You know, because if I kick the resolution up for it, um, it does make the video card definitely work harder. Um, yeah, yeah. Than than previously, but yeah. So I, <laughs> I was having games, and then like I'd go to select a new table, and I'd see all the menus. That's no problem. But then when it would go to do the flyover of the table. Nothing, just black screen or a, or oh. a tear, and that would oh, be it. Okay. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? So I I thought I had it kind of figured out, um, and then uh, somebody challenged me to two player, which I was like, oh hey, you know what? I have not experienced the two player mode yet mm, from right, from Zachariah. Cool. <laughs> Go to load up a game and nothing, just black screen. Couldn't play Ooh. it at all. I was like, what is going on? This sucks. And so I wound up having to turn off the back glass, turn down something else, and then it then it worked. And I gotta say Well, so you were literally exceeding your your video card specs for the game. Yeah, like I believe so. Right. I believe so. Um, Is it true though that most cabinet owners or people who have gone to the trouble of setting up a like a, a multi-screen setup for pinball, they typically run two video cards, don't they? Like one for the back glass and one for the main screen, don't they? Don't know. Uh, I'm Gotta remember, sure I'm new to this do. whole cabinet business because I've I... got a feeling they do, and I've got a feeling that there's a reason for that because it, it does take a fair bit of grunt to do it. That or they um, just have it... an even stronger video card than I have. I mean, mine's not a slouch by any means, but it's not top of the line. So you're 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 an Nvidia 1080, aren't you? In your box? No, I believe I'm a 1060i. 1060i, okay. So that's basically a little bit less than a 1080. Yeah. So I've got an I've got a one of the the newer RTX um, ones in my laptop. Um, so it's like a uh, it, it's a little bit better than a t- it's like the better than the top spec um, 1080 series video card from Nvidia, uh, and uh, it it plays things pretty well uh, it does it does most definitely scream when you're actually playing um games but it's in a laptop and so yeah it'll it'll do that um because it doesn't have any um any uh insulation from the case it's pretty much like your, your video cards right under there and it's it's pumping out the burn out a hole in your lap um... it, it, oh you don't play it on your lap no <laughs> you, you do, <laughs> no you end up with a very hot lap uh but it's a uh, from from a capability perspective it's it's good. Like the RTX series of cards is are very good. Because when I play Zen, uh, it, the video card does de- it definitely fires up. I mean, I can definitely mm. hear it going, but um, it well, it's not screaming. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, but I, I do want to say playing head to head with uh, somebody, what, being able to watch their game, um, man. I wish Zen had had it too. I mean, hats that off to you, Zachary. Really you really cool. figured it out. It, it, it's very cool. It's what Farsight was hoping to do, I think, and ultimately wasn't able to. But I'm, although Farsight, it seemed like they were they want both players playing at the exact same time. And yeah, they wanted it to be real time. Yeah, but and you and you were <laughs> watching the other person play. Here, it's you take your turn, you play your ball, and the other person can watch. And then, so it's just like standing beside the the game, but you're a thousand kilometers away from each other. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, essentially, it's like it's like a it's like a, a, a switchable Twitch stream of your game, 
just for you two. Yeah, that's a good way of putting yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and I had that's a lot great. of fun. It was it was a lot of fun, and it was it was cool just watching because especially since the Zach games, I just I don't know I don't know them. I don't know uh, what you want to be going for, no, and it, when it, you're playing, it, it's hard to kind of figure that out. But when mm-hmm. you're watching somebody else play, all of a sudden you're like, oh, what's that technique they're doing? You know, what, what's that pattern that they're going for? And oh, hey, now I see that thing light, you know lit up, and I'm reading the DMD and being able to know what's you know, what's going what's, on? What's yeah. asking? Yeah. Um, that being said, <laughs> the Zacharia interface not cool. <laughs> right. Still a little bit of room for improvement there. You think? I had to have because uh, I was playing with my my cabinet there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and I had to also have uh my controller hooked up. And I had to have access to my keyboard. Oh right, okay. So it wasn't it wasn't control supported navigation at all. Or there's was, there's sections that it just gets stuck, and oh, you really? don't have the ability to necessarily back out of it. Um, mm. Have and you made notes of those sections because it'd probably be a good no, thing to uh, tell them about. Well, well th- what do you think I was trying to message about? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Right. Because because sometimes there's hidden things that we're not necessarily privy to that uh when mart goes around playing it it's he makes it look easy um mm. so but one of the the key things that i that was bothersome was it was just like the b button needs to be the back button i yes, should be able to just rapidly hit that over and over and it should just take me out of one menu out of a menu out of a menu and just go all the way back there shouldn't be this whole business of are you sure and or you know any of that clunkiness that all of a sudden then I have to use a joystick to navigate to, which yeah. is why I had to then have my controller because for some reason my joystick wasn't quite navigating. Like on one of the screens, it would navigate through all the bar things, but it would not go and highlight the exit. Oh, there, uh. that's just, and that's really just like when you're developing an interface like that, it's, it's essentially the same as tab order when you're using a program on your computer it's it's no different to that you you control at what order your your tab focuses the button first and normally it's on the button that will get you out of the game so it's just like they've got the the it wouldn't be hard for them to fix it's just like the the tab order that they just need to relay yeah no it wouldn't be it shouldn't be hard to fix um no that being said team of four (laughs) team of four yeah look fair fair call there um it's it's hard to prioritize work like that when you know it's essentially you can still use it it's just yes. not great and that's that's the thing like what other fish do they have to fry at the moment there is more important than that probably a fair bit of stuff because they they've released that um new um you know pro version of the the uh table but that's the only one we've seen so far and that was back in november I think they so, have two tables available from what I saw. Oh, there's, really? There's I only on. saw one on Twitter. I could only see one promoted on Twitter. Oh, well, no, in the um, game, there's two. That's two. Oh, that's okay. So they've done the second one now, which is good. Yeah. That's good. Um, that's good. So, I mean, it, it, like I said, I had fun playing it. Um, oh, the other, th- the other problem was that, so whoever started the multiplayer, you send out an invite, basically. People can join in on the multiplayer. Oh, and, cool. But then you have to set up... You're setting up all of the uh, the parameters. Uh, all right. And yeah. setting up which game you're going to play. Mm-hmm. Well, once you get done with that, playing that game, you, you have to go back in and select from all the games again. It's not... It's, basically, what I'm trying to say is it's not quick to select which game which table yeah. you want to, to play. It's not a really quick, easy, just, oh, pop, 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 You know, there's no drop-down menu. There's no easy way in. It's mm-hmm. almost like you're on the verge of exiting out of it completely and stopping your connection, picking the next game, and then logging. And, and one time, indeed, I did. I went, pushed one wrong thing, and burp, wiped out the lobby, had to create the lobby oh. all over again, invite the person back in again. So that was kind See, of... See, that's, that's when they need an are you sure you want to exit button. <laughs> <laughs> right that's the right place to put that you know yeah yeah uh, so um but at least it works that's 
that's the, the main thing at least it works yeah, and it's cool and when you're in the game and you're playing the in-game experience for two player it sounds like it's really awesome yeah that's where i and i really wish that zen instead of the stupid matchup mode that i don't know i haven't touched it since the first month it came out when fx3 came out i haven't touched it since it seems completely a waste of my time when i can score you know 25 million on a table and all i really needed was 1 million in order to advance it's just silly yeah um yeah. the matchups aren't good so i would rather zen uh went and put in a multiplayer just like this um it would be a I'd lot love of fun to be able to do it. yeah i'd probably play it more than i am at the moment and i, I must admit it seems that when i don't really pick up the games like zen at the moment at all really because like after the games are released and i've had a like play test of them before we you know talk about them on the show there, there's nothing new in the collection and i'm sort of going well i played these before sure they're really nice but i don't have on steam at least i don't have the motivation to go back in there and pick the game up again it's well like, this oh. is where tournaments uh become a factor and so there's a reddit mm. tournament currently yes um, i forget who's hosting it but uh Basically, we're in week five right now of them, and mm. it's and this, it's kind of like when I, when we were doing the uh, table of the month tournament. Uh, yeah. it's a lot of fun. It gets you back into playing, yeah, feeling really competitive, and playing. sometimes makes you go, "Hey, I should probably practice this one before I actually play it." Mm. Yeah, I think I just need to get reengaged again. I just I just lost the engagement with the platform. Like I played a bit on mobile when I'm just bored on the train home, but it's not the same. Like I'm just, the more I play it on mobile, the more when you're not playing with like uh, advanced physics for which I have not unlocked yet on mobile, like the, the flippers almost feel, they just don't feel right on mobile compared to steam. Like they, they feel muddy um, when you flip them. They don't feel well, like Well, you're also playing with your thumbs. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that though. Like it's the way they animate on the screen, and it's the way the ball feels when you hit the the the, the actual flippers, and when, when you hit the ball with the flippers, it's got this weird. Well, it are, snap up. Are, are you are it's, you playing? Um, so when you play on Steam, you're playing with regular physics, not Zen physics, right? You're playing arcade physics. Uh, the no, I'm I'm normally often play just with Zen physics, so oh, I'm okay. sort of matching matching what I'm getting on um on mobile, and it's different. Like the flippers behave differently on mobile. Like it's almost like um if you've ever played a, a game that has slow flippers that like you know don't return back to their home position fast enough, um it has the effect for me at least. It's almost like the flippers are motorized, not solenoid driven, in the the fact that they go. Rip, and you won't be able to see this when you're listening on the podcast afterwards but it's like rather than snapping up they're sort of like bit and they don't have that that really fast travel that you expect when you're flipping and i don't know whether it's like some sort of optical illusion that's making me feel that way but when i'm playing the game on mobile it's a very different feeling to playing it on steam and i'm using the same physics model well and, and there is definitely a uh, porting difference uh, mm. I mean, just there were certain behaviors that were happening on mobile that were not happening in Steam. Just in with, Steam. Yeah. with like the auto ball launch, how far up the ball was going uh, mm. was different on mobile than it was in Steam. Uh, you know, when playing the challenges. So, yep. I mean, there, there's, there's definitely platform differences, differences that they would need to uh, tweak and fine tune. It's kind of why we were like, hey, you know, maybe we should have us beta test the mobile also. <laughs> uh yeah yeah it sort of would be a good idea i think yeah yeah anyhow uh, but uh but yeah so it's like i would love to see head-to-head of that nature make, really um <laughs> make a noise over here uh make yeah. it into zen and then of course the interface would just be so much slicker yeah it would for sure uh yeah i'd like to see that that sort of play as well like essentially like a mini tw- a mini twitch stream between the two players or can you have up to four players in a matchup or is it just two no you oh when with zacharia i don't know yeah i don't zacharia. i think you can invite more people than you probably go up to four i imagine oh that's that's pretty cool you know what would be really good is that you know there's there's something to be said about having being able to talk to people that you're playing with um around the table so it would be nice as well perhaps to actually have 
the ability to um, like use headsets, you know, like um, some, right Teamspeak kind of uh, yeah, like Teamspeak, Discord, that sort of thing, um, in there as well. Maybe it, it, again, nice to have, but it's you know what? Actually, like, ideally, I would like if Zen that? were to take this, basically <clears throat> go back to what it was like uh, selecting songs in Rock Band, uh, oh, yeah. where both people could put suggestions up for what they wanted or it's you pick one table or you pick one song I pick one song you pick one song I pick one song and it, oh it, yeah you know it kind of makes that engagement happen so that's not one person purely in control uh, yeah that sounds like a good idea and then that way you didn't necessarily have to have you didn't necessarily even have to have headphones on to talk to the person you could indicate what you wanted just by selecting it and, and mm, showing it that's uh, a good idea so, I was uh, thinking more of the fun of heckling someone when they were playing. Uh, <laughs> oh well, yeah, there's that for sure. There's no yeah, doubt which, about is, which is a lot of fun. I, the uh, the breakup party that we had for Brisbane Pinball Club last year, it was a um, a casual tournament, and oh, I do love to heckle people when when it's not like because you can't do it when it's in tournament mode. But I was heckling some of the best players and beating them because of my heckling. It was fantastic fun. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it again every single time. It was, it's great. Uh, and they were having a ball too. Like they didn't care because it wasn't like they weren't playing for sheep stations as the expression goes here. They were just they were just flipping around. A lot of them were very drunk as well, so that also helped. Yeah, there you go. There you uh, go. It's very fun. Very um funny. so one other thing that uh Hold on, just adjusting the camera there. Jared was looking very tall, and it was making me feel very short. Yeah, I've I've sort of set I've sort of <laughs> meh, sat up a little bit because it looked like <laughs> I was getting sweaty back. Gross. Um, so what kind of bit of news we might say, and this is where the title of our show comes from, uh, guess you started popping up on Twitter again. Yeah, the, it, uh, yeah, we, we've had action. Action from Arcuda again. Yeah, and, and the thing was is Arcuda was kind of launching it as Arcuda 2.0. Mm, <laughs> yeah, the reboot. Which we didn't know that it had stopped. <laughs> Yeah, we, we we just thought they were still marching on with the um, the the one that they announced with Pinball OK. That you Which could, was uh, you know, that was the Ultra Cab, Ultra. I believe, was what they had called yeah, it back then. That's right. The one was all blue. Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, it's changed color and changed shape. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So what they're what they're advertising uh, is an upright. Uh, they call it the Dynasty uh, Cab, and if yeah. you've ever seen uh, VP Cab's Vertigo cabinet. It's essentially what it looks like. Uh, so yep. big screen, vertical, right in front of you. Uh, DMD below the screen, and there is no second monitor, I believe. Oh, is there? Well, is, the thing at the top looks like a second monitor. Is there a second monitor? I don't there, know. There's one, well, I don't know. Maybe. I think there is, you know. I think there's a little one at the top, but um, I don't think you can... Because with, with the old... Um, the old <laughs> uh, with the ultra that they were originally releasing within the pinball form factor the traditional pinball form factor you could use that back glass as like a second display but i've got a feeling that oh i see what you're talking about no no yeah, i think you're right it is, there is yeah it's a small 16 by 9 monitor uh for showing yeah. the back glass but it's much smaller than the one that was in the ultra like pinball form factor cabinet um it's probably by the looks of the screen or oh, seventeen inch, maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, the, there thereabouts. It's a small, it's a small monitor. So it yeah. started like they announced this back in February the third, um, and I'm using the Arcuda Twitter timeline for these dates because that's kind of a good a good one to use <laughs> for, uh, for. You when think the, in terms things. of official stuff? Yeah, you just go to the yeah Arcuda's uh, Twitter account and ta da, there's things. But we're there's, there we're. Are we're we're, we're saving you from having to do that by uh, just telling you things. And then you can maybe go look for them yourself. Because they do have kind of uh, quick videos up of what some of the stuff looks like. Um, mm, yeah. But yeah, so they, they got this uh, upright pin there that also... Uh, it's got... Looks like interface buttons on the front panel or uh, ports, I should say. And then there are a series of arcade buttons and a joystick on the uh, panel 
on top. So it looks like they are sticking with what they were doing way back when, which is it's not just for pinball, it's for all types of games. It's almost like um, when, I, when I was looking at this, I got the impression that it's just, it's really like a, it's an appliance that you can connect anything to and display images on it as well as if you want to dump a pc in there and and connect up your steam box etc to it as well um yeah so it's it's um yeah it's sort of like a it's a i don't i don't want to cheapen it by saying this but it sounds like it's a glorified it's like one of those you know uh av um things that you used to have you probably still do have if you're rich where you can plug in you know, a receiver a player a yeah, receiver that's the word i'm looking for. if you're it's a, like yeah, a, i've have i still have one yes <laughs> it's an av receiver with a screen and controls so yeah it's it's an interesting product so in, what it is is though respect. obviously when with pinball related it's got a you know the screen is vertical so it's long um, yeah, which yeah. makes it great for pinball, but it also makes it great for uh, shmups, I believe. Is that what the term you use there, Jared? Oh, yes. Yeah, shmups. It's it's yeah. fantastic for vertical shoot em ups. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. But it wouldn't be so hot for any of your standard <laughs> orientation screens. No, um, it's definitely... You're right there, Chris. It's, it's definitely got the... It's, its purpose is very clear. Um, you're a particular type of gamer who likes pinball and shoot 'em ups, which you know, really, it's me. <laughs> so right. they're, now, they're targeting if me you for this product. if you want to go the other route, they also have their Mercury machine, which looks yeah. more like your standard arcade setup. So monitor is oriented the uh, the uh, in landscape basically in landscape. Yep, um, and again, their picture shows arcade sticks on top. Uh, looks like they've got uh, Street Fighter on display there yeah um, it's very much a sort of traditional style cabinet you would have seen back in the 80s early 90s in the arcades it's even got the um the, the marquee that looks pretty much the same and in fact the marquee in the the tweet that they sent out on um uh, february 19 and indeed in the video they got that looks very similar to the sega font <laughs> in the um in the marquee a <laughs> very similar and i really dig it I think that's now, great. Now, to be noted on that cabinet, uh, it's also gotten buttons on the side, so presumably you'd be able to play pinball also on it. You would just be yes. playing it in landscape, not in portrait in mode. Landscape. And uh, that particular uh, post, it says that play your favorite games from Steam, Origin, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, Android, PC libraries on the Mercury Arcade cabinet. Plug and play is the simplest plugging the USB and HDMI cable from the cabinet into your console or PC. So, mm. like you said, it's a receiver. Yeah, it really is. Like, it is just a big, a big, very nicely made receiver. Um, and, you know, I think for, for a lot of people, I think it might actually be the more attractive option. Because I think it's more versatile. Like, I've got some games on Steam that are shoot 'em ups that would not work well on the Dynasty at all. Like, they're, they're, a, um, they're a horizontal gameplay. Well, I mean, certainly, to be sure, if I'm plugging in my PlayStation or Xbox, I'm going to go Mercury over the Dynasty. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. Um, Consoles are not meant... Well, you can't flick the... You you can't, like, change the orientation of the screen. No, there is no screen rotate. (laughs) No. Like, you've got to to play it in landscape. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, So, yeah, that would be for sure what... if, If I was hooking up those... If I'm looking for a dedicated pinball cab then obviously you're looking more at the dynasty version. Um, yeah. No now, the idea. The interesting of... thing with the dyna- uh, with the dynasty is that the the big difference with that is that it is also a touch screen as well. So the main screen is a touch screen, and that's the big difference, right? Yeah. There's no mention of if the Mercury is a touch screen. It doesn't look like it is. It looks like. But it has the funny thing is, Arcuda well. is very hot on touch screens, so it wouldn't surprise yeah. me if it actually is because Arcuda used to have bar top machines 
and it that were like um, the TouchWiz. TouchWiz was what touch it was Touch TouchWiz, yes. Think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't surprise me if they just kind of, you know, whatever interfaces that they're using for any of these things, because obviously they're going to have probably the ability to also buy these with built-in software. Uh, oh, I think so, yeah. I would imagine they probably, they probably ship with, like, so you just plug it in. Because I'd imagine there'll be some customers out there that, would you know want to want to tinker and want to plug their own stuff in and do their own thing and maybe they've already got a steam box for example that they right. they, they like to play with but well you know, so, you know that... when we last talked to Arcuda they were hot about uh, having secured licenses with Namco and I think yeah, Taito yeah, yeah. Um, so you would I'm I'm guessing that that might be one of those things that uh, winds up being able to be an option of purchasing it same thing with the Dynasty. Uh, yeah, I true. know that Arcuda still they bought a bunch of those uh, Arcuda pinball arcade packages, um, so they yeah. can still sell. <laughs> if you yeah, really they... want to play the Farsight versions of pinball, they can still sell that whole thing because um, yeah, it's attached easily. to the camera. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I noticed that the um, the the interesting thing about the the Dynasty cabinets is they don't have any kinetic, uh, not kinetic, connect. Um, camera in them so uh, the probably the reason for that is because it's in a vertical orientation and you don't have that depth of field right you don't have that have. depth of field so there's no reason for it also uh good luck fight well good luck finding one good luck finding one and are you going to make this a big selling point for a game that this only has those titles that are doing it anything that you hook up with your playstation xbox steam uh, you know, if you're playing Zen, Zachary, it's got to be coded in. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's got to be coded, coded in. in. It's not going to be there. It was a special feature, and it's just not going to be there. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, so to me, that's not even a selling there. point anymore. Yeah, really, it's a good move. Get rid of it. Um, and we also haven't uh, heard anything about price. No, they they haven't said anything about price yet, which is which is interesting. I'd. S- I've got some ideas. I do too. So let's 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 run ideas here because I'm going to base this based off of VP Cabs Vertigo, which yeah. I believe. How much is that selling for there? I, off the top of my head, I wanted to say it was like was two. Be, was it two thousand or like twenty nine hundred? It was below three thousand. Yeah, somewhere above two thousand, below three thousand, right in that area. Um, I would think that if Arcuda wants to be competitive, they're going to have to be... And, and when I say competitive, now you got to keep in mind that you have all this one-up arcade cabinet business yeah, coming in. these essentially budget pinballs that are in the market now. Right, because, they, I mean, this is two... It's two different... Very different markets. Different markets, but you're kind of appealing to the same sensibilities. Yeah, you are. Like, you want people who like pinball, but then you can have... You can essentially have the Walmart type, which is arcade one-up and um, Toy Shock, or... You can go a little bit more, and when I say a little bit, I mean about f- probably five or six times more. Well, but uh, here's what I'm thinking, too. Uh, there's going to be plenty of people that are going to mod the one-up cabinets, and just as they've already modded the the arcade cabinets, they're going to mod the pinball have. cabinets. They're right, they already have. Uh, and you yeah, figure out how much money that they're spending to mod them. By the time all is said and done, they're probably at a price tag of about 1200 bucks. Yeah, probably. Yeah. In. So if Arcuda wants to be really competitive with those customers because those are the customers that you're going to be after because they're already modding things. So here you're going to be in a complete package, uh, presumably. Again, I don't know if they're shipping with a PC or are you putting in your own PC. I don't, I just, I really don't know. Um, but I've I would... got a feeling that it's it's going to be either or, honestly. Like, I, I think that... Two different price the, points. Uh, yeah, one with and one without. I mean, it looks to me that the cabinet is so customizable anyhow that you could probably just opt to not have a box put in it really true so that's, that's here's what, what here's what i would ideally hope uh to be competitive i'm gonna say they need to come in at 1800 bucks us 1800 us so yeah. that's probably around the three and a half mark here in australia so three three and a half grand here in australia or maybe three yeah I don't yeah, know. That's we'll, going to be a tall order. Cause it's going to be a tall order. The, the thing is that with the um, the Vertigo cabinet, it wasn't touchscreen. And this one is. And that's a very big touch panel. 
that they yeah, put there. Yeah, but we're also talking economy of scale. Mm, you know, yeah, just in terms so. of you know, when you're when you're mass producing these things, you can't go off of the single price of what a touchscreen is. It becomes you buy in bulk, and you know the cost difference between a touchscreen and a non-touchscreen versus the uh, having to now have two different kinds of software running it. Um, you know, so like you know, what we're we talking? Are we talking about like five hundred dollars to the bill of materials? Or are we talking about three hundred dollars? Or I'm talking you know, about what? the difference between non-touch screen and a touch screen is probably going to be on their end a fifty dollar difference. You reckon? I think it's going to be more than that because that's yeah. a very big panel of glass that you need to use for your digitizer, which is the thing that like senses your touches. That's a big area to have a digitizer on. I think that's probably more like four or five hundred, hmm. but that's just me. Um, I think there's also a lot of other stuff going on in this cabinet compared with the Vertigo and the fact that it's got a full in-out capability on it so you can plug anything into it. Oh, there's and, definitely that. There's definitely that. The, the... And that's, that's got to have its own sort of interface system that's custom-built and custom-coded for it to support that because it's got to it's be like when you plug in your, like your Xbox into it, for example, it's got to then recognize the Arcuda control set as a controller. It's then got to let you probably remap it in your console so you can actually, you know, remap buttons to what you want it to be. There's a lot of engineering that goes into that. I don't know. All so, you really have to do, and I mean, they sell these things on Amazon. Uh, the, you know, when I plug in the the controller there it's recognized as a 360 controller there's no need to remap yeah. it's automatically recognized as a 360 controller the only issues is i don't have as many buttons as the 360 i don't have any shoulder buttons um yeah for instance um you can Which do the same i think they've got like the they've essentially got the eight buttons on the top so you can have two buttons either side for left and right um triggers and then the four buttons in the middle for the uh the uh, ones in the middle so i think they've got the button support there they're probably just not analog and then it would be a case of if you plug in a ps4 the arcuda machine itself recognizes ps4 and all the controls on top then convert then map to that or mapped automatically to what a ps4 controller is and that's what i'm saying there's a thing on on amazon you can buy that uh because i was looking at how can i get the micro cab to be able to be playable uh, with a PS4 and mm. it was oh you buy this little adapter and you put it on the USB and, and then you put the other USB in and you flick the switch and say PS4 and <laughs> it's just, it just makes it a PS4 right yeah. right cool that's uh, cool so so that you know again sure that seems rather trivial to do but again tying it into everything that a cabinet has you know it, it that's a little bit extra um, okay, so what price do you justify. think it's going to come in? I'm saying that I think it needs to come in at about 1800 How much? What do you think it's going to come in at? Um, I'm talking Australian dollars here, $4,000. That's what I think it's going to be, 4000 Which I guess we're saying would probably be about 2500 US. <sighs> take, take about 40% off that for the US dollar at the moment because the Australian okay. dollar is so terrible. Right. Or okay. 35. So that's what I think. I think it's going to be up there about 4,000. Because that, remember when they were doing the um, uh, the first like Generation 1 Ultra Cabinets when they announced it, they they were around the 4,000 mark. So, Yeah, but those were, weren't vertical. That was a full machine. It was a full machine, but it had similar controls. and sure, Similar controls, cool. but it also had a much, much larger screen. It was a 40-inch screen, I believe. Yeah, true. All right. Well, this look, is I this is probably looking like a twenty-eight inch. Would you think? Mm, yeah, probably probably thirty-two. Tw- thirty-two, twenty-eight, or thirty-two. Yeah. I reckon thirty-two. Yeah, yeah. Again, we don't really know. There's not a lot of specs no. out on this product at this stage. Um, um, I'm just okay. Let, so let me put the let me give you a a what if situation. We've already looked at the, just looking at the Mercury and the Dynasty. It, sorry, Both, I, I can. I'm just actually doing my research and looking at the website. Yes, it is thirty-two HD. 32 inch okay. HD. Yeah. Okay. Um, both of us have kind of determined we'd probably go Mercury just if, from the standpoint of if we were planning on using it as a receiver for home console stuff. Yes? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. For sure. So if you were going for just wanting it for pinball purposes, 
Okay. You go for the dynasty 100%. No, that's not what the question is going to be, though. <laughs> All right. The question is going to be, do you go for the dynasty where it's in your face? You're pretty close to it, which I'm questioning how that's going to be playing that close to the screen on a vertical, because mm. now you're really moving your head up and down. It's not following the ball is going to take neck movement. It's not going to be just eye movement, per se. It, mm, yeah, again, I'm, I'm guessing because I don't know how that is... Uh, how close you're standing with your arms or each, how that, that plays out. Um, but, okay, so would you rather have the Dynasty or would you rather pl be playing on a modified one-up mini cab, you know, like they're showing at CES? Oh, look, I... If I was purely like, purely pinball, not so we're not talking about having the ability to plug in any other console or so. You're purely wanting this for pinball. Yeah, I definitely want an actual traditional form factor pinball machine. I would want that that traditional style. I wouldn't want an upright one. Okay, that's kind of where yeah. I'm leaning to, uh, where it's like I, I if obviously if I'm not modifying. Uh, and I don't have the I don't I don't know the first thing about what it would take to even modify one of those. Um, so if you said, hey, you can have the option of having this dynasty machine that can have unlimited amount of tables on it, uh, you can play again Zachariah or Zen or old TPA, whatever. Uh, mm. Or you can buy three of these <laughs> one-up cabs and have a total of thirty games. There's yeah. where I'm going, whoa, well, I'm going to go with the Dynasty. But if you're talking about, hey, here's the ability to modify, yeah, I agree. I want the traditional pinball form factor. Yeah, exactly. Now, I am, as we're speaking, I'm going and having a look at the uh, the dedicated page on ArcudaPinball.com for the uh, Dynasty Vertical Pinball. Now, I'm looking at the features, and uh, we can confirm that it is a 19-inch um, horizontal monitor up in the, the top there. Um, so it's not uh, well close. It was uh, not 16 or 17. It was 19. So it's it's a reasonable size monitor up there. Um, and also, if you're tall, you can probably suggest that that's going to be pretty much up at head height um, for you as well. So you might be looking slightly up, but it's going to be sort of up there. Um, so definitely for the taller people, it'll be good fit. But here's something really interesting, right? I'm reading down the features of what this thing includes, and I'll list them out for you here so you don't have to read them yourself and go to the web, web page. So you get illuminated LED lighting, which is what you see on all the um, the surfaces and the panel. You get your 32-inch touchscreen play field, a back glass, and a DMD. Um, you also have good quality Japanese Sanwa joysticks and buttons, so they're actually arcade-grade buttons, which is what you expect from Arcuda. They did that with the, the, the Ultra. Um, but then we get to this bit, which is interesting, and that is interchangeable control panels. Interchangeable control panels. They were talking about that with the Ultra, uh, being able to have either a traditional uh, front apron, you might say, on the pinball, and being able to swap that whole panel out to get arcade joysticks on there. So mm. I wonder if this is a maybe similar? Like they're carrying that idea forward on this. It well, if you have a look at the way the the uh, the I love how you call it dynasty because I just think of the TV show. <laughs> well, you, well, believe me, to us Americans, you saying dynasty is like oh what? well, le, mod me, m might I have some crumpets too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I do like the dynasty <laughs> vertical pinball. Um, so yeah, with with the the dynasty, um, it, I think. It seems more than like a replaceable apron because you have a look at the way that those uh, that the control panel sits in the Dynasty. It almost looks like, kind of looks like it wedges in to the cabinet, like it's sort of inset into the cabinet somehow, like um like it slots in. So I wonder if it's like you just literally just pull the whole thing out and put something different in, like. Like what would you what would you put on there? Like what would you replace it with? Trackball. A trackball, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, a, hey, you put a again, you think you play then you can play centipede and uh, marble madness and uh, and um, missile what, that, command. That golf game. 
in that golf game. Oh, Golden that, you know, Tea, right? Yeah, Golden Tea, yeah. You could uh -huh. do Golden Tea. And what about um, if you're a real... See, this probably wouldn't work so well with the um, the dynasty form factor, because but yeah, you know, gun shooting games. You could put like a gun control panel in there. You know? Oh, that's well, depending on how long the court is. Yeah, true. You know, but you although know, most of the gun shooters are are landscape. Vertical. Yeah, they they're horizontal, which is the thing I'm thinking of. But you know, the other thing I'd love to see is what about things like Garage Band. Not Garage Band, <laughs> Rock Band. Um, you know, uh, Guitar Heroes, right? <laughs> yeah, That's Guitar Hero. Like, mm -hmm. You know, that thing scrolls down the screen in in like a that would suit that very well. And I'm thinking 100, it would be really fun to play um, Drum Mania on something like that. Because oh, you've got the, right, yeah. You could actually put like drum pads and like a drum pad um, deck on it. I don't know how you'd go sitting down at that thing to play, but. You know, if if it's that sort of interchangeable control panel, then <laughs> all, all of a sudden there's all of a sudden there's a driver's wheel you can slot in and a pedal down yeah. at the bottom, and you can do driving games that way. <laughs> yeah, well, it. I mean, that's that's the interesting thing, right? Like, what what would that actually give you from a versatility perspective for that cabinet? I would kind yeah, I of know. unlock it big time if they did that sort of interchangeable panel. Yeah. We're going to have to so, stay tuned because uh, they haven't done any... I mean, they're kind of eking out the information right now. Um, so we've kind yeah. of been looking at it, trying to, to suss out what what's what. Um, one other bit of information that popped out, though, and mm. that is, so as you all know, Arcuda is also home pin. Uh, or I shouldn't yes. say they're... Yeah. Not home pin. And Highway Games. Highway Games. Yes. Yeah. And Highway Games uh, just put out a notice that they've moved their facilities to South Korea. So out mm. of China into South Korea. Now, I wonder why that is. Because mm. <laughs> you've got to believe that that means all of Arcuda stuff is now coming out of South Korea also. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is probably good <laughs> because, you know, the uh, coronavirus uh, is probably not going to make getting things out of China very easy. Oh, uh, I know, right? That's true. For a while, actually, unfortunately. So, yeah, might have dodged a bullet there. Yeah. Anyway, we're, we'll, we'll, we're going to keep our eyes on this, um, obviously, because we haven't heard anything from Arcuda in a while, and all of a sudden this stuff just like started popping up. Um, yeah. So it looks like they're getting ready for a relaunch of sorts, and we'll keep you up to date on what's going on with that, uh, let you know any information that we can share. Um, cause, yeah, absolutely. I mean... Because all this is like a lot of it is just what we're going off from the um the website at the moment, so it's it's uh, blockade TM speculation. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what you get when you listen to our show when there's no actual concrete news. Yeah. So yeah, which I mean, you know, we we like doing it. There's no doubt about it. That's but great. Um, yeah, it, we it, love a good bit of speculation. It's awesome. <laughs> it is fun though when we actually have real information to uh, to pass along too. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. So yes. So. Anyway, um, I think beyond that, that's that's the news we have. We're gonna uh, hopefully we'll get a hold of Mart with uh, Zachariah, and hopefully uh, Zen has some things that they can share. I was having a a private chat with a member of the Zen team, and there's stuff that I wish I could share, but I can't. <laughs> um, so uh, the good news is that stuff's happening. Stuff's happening for sure. Can't yeah, tell you what. But but stuff just is not, happening. Not you quite know. ready for broadcast yet. Yeah, Zen, Zen is definitely busy. But uh, and you know, a question was posed to me: Does any of this Operencia stuff that's going on with Zen right now affect the pinball? And again, no. Two no, different divisions. Two different teams. Two yeah. different teams. Yeah. So don't don't be like Zen. Quit working on these other games. No, this is their. The, They've got their bread and butter or their fingers dipped in many tubs, <laughs> whatever you want to say. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not affecting, one's not affecting the other. No, no. They're, they're very much separated concerns. And, you know, Zen, they're, they're a pretty large studio now. So they've they, they got the resources to do parallel projects like they are at the moment. So and fear not. Work continues on the and, then, and that being said, they've been knocking it out on the mobile platform in terms of offering, uh, doing these limited time events that oh, are making it super yeah. easy to get parts on tables. 
Geez, easy. I'm upgrading tables from entry level to like two stars or like one. Yeah. Well, like... I've got two of the five tables that were remaining. So basically, the the two monster tables and then these the last batch that got released. Uh, so creature and not creature. Uh, Tales of the Arabian Nights, you no know, good gophers and. Tell me, Jared. What's that other one? Uh. uh um. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking it up as well. I'm, I'm like I'm like I'm looking it up right now because I can't believe my mind just completely blanked on it. I just put some whole music on while you. <laughs> I'm like it, it, it better not have an update going on here right now. Yeah. Like, do, 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 do. It's, it's probably like I'm, arcade uh, play. Here we go. Circus Voltaire. That's what we were looking for. CV. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Um. So I've now maxed out. Uh, no Good Gophers and Tales of the Arabian Nights. I'm very close to maxing out uh, Creature. Uh, Circus Voltaire is right there behind it. Monster Bash is the one that's uh, lagging behind. I think I still need... Let's see how many parts I need. I need... 45 more parts still for Monster Bash. But that'll go by really quickly once I max out the other tables because then all I have to do is just play regular daily challenges and all the table yeah, parts will be Monster Mash. Yeah, you'll, they'll yeah. just keep dropping for you. I kind great. of got to. Yeah. I've I really got to kind of bust ass on this though, and and get these cleared out because uh, I've got 363 coins. Each upgrade is going to cost 100 coins, so that's going to leave me with 63 coins, <laughs> and uh -huh. uh, that's not going to be nearly enough when the next batch comes. So I need to hurry up, get these oh, maxed wow. out, then go back to collecting coins before the next batch of tables actually gets released. So yeah. I'm not in, uh, in that respect. I'm not sad that Zen is taking their time, but uh, yeah, if yeah. you haven't <laughs> if if you haven't touched the mobile uh, game in a while, do so because they are definitely quickly uh, giving you plenty of opportunities to earn parts. And then uh, for you iOS users, uh, hop on over. Play skills, uh, the multiplayer, because mm. they've been changing up the tables. Uh, currently, it's Circus Voltaire. So they used to have Medieval Madness, and then they had Attack from Mars. Uh, now they got, uh, I think they had Monster Bash for a little while, and now it's Circus Voltaire. So it's nice that they're also um, rotating games through there and uh, let yeah, you earn, earn coin that way. Well, that being all said, uh, I don't know. Did we, did we create any gold there, Jared? Oh yeah, I think we spun a bit of gold from copper there. Like we've got a show out of it, so look. That's we, a, we didn't get a brick a out of it, but maybe we got a very thin bracelet. <laughs> yeah, we got we got we got like maybe some little um, specks of gold in in the in the pan. You know, the pan <laughs> the gold. right there. You go. Um, yeah, that's what we did. So yeah, we're we'll 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 pop on again soon once we figure out the rest. Uh, next weekend is my uh, birthday, so that's not going to be happening next weekend. Sorry, no. folks. Too bad. Uh, it's a leap yeah. year, and I only get those every four years. So. <laughs> So they're big deals. Yeah. Well, they're not big deals. I just, you know, like to actually have them as something that I get to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like actually with on the day. On yeah. the day. On the day. Yeah. yeah. Not like your pseudo birthday day. No, no. Um, and then hopefully by that, by the next podcast, maybe Arcuda will have even more information that we can uh, share with you guys. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. So, uh, you know, as is usual, we're not quite sure what what's the what going to be but there you are um we definitely thank you guys for watching or listening uh supporting us in any way that you can um we love hearing comments from you guys so please hit us up on the twitters hit us up uh the email at blah blah blockade at gmail.com uh Leave us messages on Twitter. We'll respond. Uh, drop messages on YouTube if you're watching that way. Uh, I try yeah. to get to those and uh, leave comments too. So all sorts of ways that you can uh, interact with us. Yeah. And then and as stay tuned next week for some more stuff and things. Jared beat me to it. There you go. Yeah. All right, folks. Until then, bye-bye. See you later.